So welcome to About Effing Time. Boom. This Hi is guys. the number one podcast that doesn't allow red trousers. <laughs> what does that even mean, Georgie boy? What does it mean? Hello. Uh, no red it trousers says it allowed. On the tin. No, it says it on the no tin. red trousers allowed. Um, if anyone knows on um, the um, therapy session, um, one of the therapy sessions we did uh, was I dislocated you my had shoulder. Had a big thing on. Yeah, like I had a big, big thing, oh, yeah. and I dislocated my shoulder, and I got tripped up at a sports day. For, for, for one of your kids' school. School sports Shop. day, a father elbowed me um, and ran straight into me and knocked me over and I dislocated my shoulder. What so, an And he was wearing red trousers. So now <laughs> we've got kind of... Uh, yeah. There's an in-house rule. Yeah. No red yeah. trousers allowed. Which I look forward um, to breaking one day. <laughs> I'll, I'll no. literally bit slap you. I'm yeah. like, red, come on. Red, red chinos, no red chinos. No red chinos, no red trousers. Sorry. Do you own some red trousers? You're now just saying chinos. Have you got some red cords or something. Red cords. I look like a fucking red cords kind of guy. You got a red, you, the first time I've ever seen you with a collar on, I'm freaking <laughs> out. <laughs> um, so, look, um, I just want to do a quick wrist check. Okay. Um, let's do a wrist check. You were trying to snoop me before and I just, no. I, I, no I, I, I hate how boring my fucking Adrian, watch collection is. Adrian, you as though, you say that. Because you don't ever change it. Uh, Black oh. Bay 58. And on, on, on a Buck and Jack on. leather strap. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, no, that's enough. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. The, you, the watches that you I guys have that. on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's cool. But what you guys have on is, oh, guys, I want to get onto what you have on. This oh yeah, is... we're doing the three now. Oh, okay. we're doing three yeah, now. Mine is the lingerie navigation. Sorry, Andrew, Andrew, uh, the, sure. Come on. Oh, no, no, I'm getting. Just give me a break. This is the uh, lingerie navigation, <laughs> big eye. He's gonna get. Just take it off. I'm just, but I'm showing it on my wrist. It's a seven-inch wrist. See, it looks nice on your wrist. Looks. I love Fucking this awesome. watch. People often say, what watch would you never sell? And they're expecting it to be the APs and all the other stuff. Nah. It's this one. And this one strip, on, the, on the Bond NATO. I know this NATO strap is not good. Right, and these are Barkin Jack. Do you up. have anything that's like in that quality Actually, of Barkin um, Jack with this? Sorry, should we be doing a, our own um, about something time? Okay, this is go. good. No, we should be doing a note. But this watch, look at that. Pushes, that. Feel the vibe on this That is. Oh. But you know, how the much thing is this? It's like th three. But do you know the thing is, no, Longines is constantly looked or over. Or maybe it is more. And it, they shouldn't be. This is great quality. Oh, this it's, is. It's no. a great watch. You know, the thing is, you look past Longines each that. And every time. Or oh, I do. Oh, and also the slightly <laughs> oversized subdial. You see how it's called the big eye? It's because yeah. this subdial here is bigger. Right. And that's so that the pilot could look down and, and get a. And, and the legibility of that subdial is different, just so that it's easy to orient, orientate. This is gorgeous. I, I, I like it. I love yeah. it. Beyond and on that strap, too. Winner. That is lovely. What do you got? I have got the IWC Engineer. Oh. Um, uh, Where is this from? This is an AMG uh, oh Mercedes. My gosh. Uh, Engineer. Is this a quartz one or is this the uh, me mechanical? <coughs> this is mechanical, uh, I believe. Um, and if you look, uh, I just love the engraving on the back with the AMG. This is when, um, you know, you think about a partnership of car partnerships. Yeah. And IWC and Mercedes have been going for years and years and years. What do you so, think of it, Adrian? I, I think this is, I, I actually, this is, you know on eBay when you can have um, your saved searches? Yeah. This is one of my saved searches. This actual watch? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, why I'm, I brought this today is because I think it's... That's killer. Why I brought this today is because I think, and I'm going to move this in. It's about effing time we talked about integrated bracelets. Let's do it. And for me, that's, that's why I brought the engineer. Do you know why I thought this was a great topic? Apart from the fact that it's the hype topic. It's because when you list the greatest watches of all time and the most desirable watches of all time, if you exclude Rolex, and there were, I think there were a couple of Midas models that had uh, integrated bracelets, but if you exclude those, if you exclude Rolex, the, the most desirable watches of all time have integrated bracelets. So there's something about them. It's a niche topic. It's a topic that if you said to your guy on the street, hey, do you like integrated bracelets? They'd be like, sorry, what do I like what now? So it's not something that has recognizability as a subject. But when you say, hey, what are the most popular watches? And they can name the ones that generally have them. Right, like so obviously there's something to dig up here because there's something about the aesthetics of an integrated so, bracelet, so, the elevator watch. So what is that? I'm throwing it up to you guys. What is the aesthetics? What, what is the, like, if I was going to give, 
if I was putting out this definition yeah. to someone that doesn't know the watch world, yeah. someone, what is an integrated bracelet? What, yeah. and, and then, so I'm going to go to you and then I'm going to ask you of the top, the popular mm -hmm. brands that have got integrated bracelets. Let's do it. Well, when people ask me that question, I, I didn't know if this was the right way to answer it, but this is just the way I answer it. This is my angle on it. It is a bracelet that it is a watch that will not accommodate aftermarket straps. It's that simple. It's, it's what it isn't. It isn't a bracelet you can take off and replace. And that is because the watchmaker, the designer, has considered that the bracelet is part of the watch's design. And they have not said, here, customer, have a, the head of a watch. You choose from the plethora of straps mm -hmm. on the market. You go to Bark and Jack and go shopping. No. <laughs> they have said, this is a completed product that is seamless between the case and bracelet and it is not to be ever put on an aftermarket strap that is an integrated bracelet so i describe it in what it isn't as opposed to what it is and but and i think it, it, it's funny because when you look at the physical uh, aspects of an integrated bracelet you can clearly see this is integrated this isn't but i think there's very blurred lines around that well let's pull out one of the watches the rze so this is a micro brand rze they have a Titanium. I've, I've taken it off so then I can put it flat on, on, on <clears throat> here. We'll go, we'll go up first. We'll, we'll talk more about the so, brand. So, th another this time. is where, this along with Rolex, is where the lines are blurred. Because yes. uh, what you said about it, it's designed not to have aftermarket uh, straps on, Rolex change their bracelets. The bracelet is so much part of their design signature mm -hmm. that they, they make it difficult to put aftermarket straps on because they leave their cases sharp. They've moved the, the, the strap in very close to the case itself, so you can't put leather straps on a modern sub, for example. Yeah, also, they don't damage it on the cornering and things like that. You destroy the leather strap yeah. and the sharp edges of the case. So it's not technically integrated, but effectively they're, they're, they've made it integrated by making it so hard. Correct. And also, if you think about a Rolex, it's with the bracelet. If you think about yeah. the, the sub design, the bracelet is so much part of it. So it's, and I think the, the lines are blurred. And is it these guys who have This is an lines? integrated look bracelet, That's as they it, say, yeah. because this can be removed because the end link yeah. is actually removable. And it's, so there's a yeah, spring just, bar. You put the pin straight. At, at, at a glance, it's actually very hard to, to like, tell. Yeah, when if, you're if straight you on, like it, that, it's, it's hard. hard. It's very but, hard to see. Yeah. That's, that's okay. cleverly done. Look, Adrian, I want to just kind of do a quick list with you. Cool. Let's do it. Top. Top brands, we, you've just said, apart from the big R, mm -hmm. which brands are like known for um, integrated braces? Well, weirdly, and this is what it'd be interesting to, to discuss, is why is it that the, the, the Holy Trinity, the poster boy watches from the Holy Trinity are all integrated braces? So we've got Patek and the Nautilus, we've got AP and the Royal Oak, and we've got Vacheron and the Overseas and the 222. Mm -hmm. And it's... And I don't understand why that is, mm. that these icons of watch brands, <laughs> the icons of the icons have these integrated bracelets. But they can't, but it can't just be the design because no. he wasn't involved with the, 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 no, the, the overseas. No, but I but think there's heavy, inf yeah. it's, uh, we, we, we can discuss his heavy influence in it. But don't, don't you think the answer is just that, that that a watch, the bracelet is so much a part of a watch that if it's not considered in that original integrated design, then it's never going to compete with a watch that has, from its inception, had bright... Look, look at the streamliner from Moser. What is sure. that What is that watch without sure. that slinky sure. yes. serpentine bracelet? And, and that's why I think, I think the, the heavy consideration of the design between the bracelet and the head is what, the, for me, defines yes. integrated bracelet. And, and um, the streamliner absolutely is that. It's, it's, it's a it's, modern version, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So Genta does come into that conversation because, as you said, he, and again, in all of his drawings, the, the consideration for the bracelet, this is not a secondary consideration. No, no That is no. not the design. No, the, the whole watch. piece, the whole piece is a piece of art all yeah. the way through. Yeah, it isn't ahead of a watch, and that, so we need a bracelet for it. That's what I love it. about his, his design. I was trying to pull up some of the others, but it was everything from Let's the... Let's pull out the Nautilus, because I think uh, you have yeah, it. Yeah, it's... It's, it's made from, an appearance in everybody episode. And, and, and uh, the, the engineer. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. We, uh, so... That is the Nautilus. You just have that jammed in your pocket. <laughs> that's such a Banford move. I, I, I actually had it in my crotch, but I'm not going to... Do you remember, do you remember the day you gave your wife an AP and threw it at her? 
like it was <laughs> yesterday's <laughs> sack of bread. And no, I, I mentioned so that to her cool. today, and she said that when you proposed to her, you threw a Birkin bag at her quite violently <laughs> as well. She sort of ducked and then and then said thank you for the bag, and you're like, look inside the bag. And then there was a... Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It was such a bad personal, ass, George. But you just throw stuff He's around. He's a fucking rock star. He's <laughs> no, a rock star. Who just... throws a Birkin bag at their potential wife? Anyway, she was happy. <laughs> She's, it, was, it was a romantic story. Can't get one of those for love or money anymore. <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> um, but why I'm, I wanted to bring up... I wanted to ask you about the icons, because you've got Napier, you've got the Patek, the Vacheron is not, but it's it's of the same era. The IWC engineer, um, and I can never say it right, can you say it engineer. better? Engineer. engineer. You look at these watches, so I'm going to bring this up here. This is integrated bracelet, uh, and for me, this is such a great... You look at these two watches side by side, then we put the AP. This is like the poor cousin of these. You know, I, I, we haven't got an AP here, but you've got the poor cousin. This is the one that I... Anyway, I'm, I, I love... How is it the poor cousin? What do you mean? Because it hasn't had the love from second-hand market or anything oh, else. As in, you know, this... The, the, it's, 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 so, it's so, so it's for me, it. if I look at the Patek, it's already happened. If you look at the AP, it's already happened. This is mm. almost as... Actually, this is one of those. Mm. That it's very is, slim, isn't it? It's slim, but I also love where the the points are. They're just and random, I, and they're random, and, it, and you kind of go. It really annoys you, but it doesn't annoy you. And then can I can I say he had a little bit of a lazy design day on the bracelet. Well, yeah, it was the same dude who designed it. I same, know. same dude. So, so. <laughs> it's like, you know what? I'm faxing the bracelet. Copy and paste. the bracelet in. <laughs> but when I look... But certainly, this porthole design yeah. is quite different too. And in fact, you know, it, it, we can talk about other brands that have that porthole design well, with, with exposed screws. Well, that's the Hello, thing Hibla. is... So, integrated bracelets is now... when Why I wanted to bring the subject when we were starting talking about it. I wanted to do something where it is, what I could say, soup du jour. You know, that kind of thing of like, yep. you know, the the idea of um, uh, soup du jour. It's that kind of like one of those things. Just just kind of that, uh, pointing uh, uh, out. Who's that is, is that his daughter? Or is that, or is that, uh, G? that G? It's G. Okay. Gerald, touch this book. Let me touch that. I'm going to design better bracelets now. <laughs> <laughs> But why, why I'm doing that is what I want to do is I want to be showing you about integrated bracelets. What why you, have you, you got your own drawer? The, uh, the, what the f... Yeah. Why have you got your own... Uh, in your know. house. <laughs> You've just been hiding stuff in there. I'm like, what... Okay, uh, what is So, this? So, so th th these... Th th there has to be some science, some engineering, something around the design that makes these so powerful arguably the the royal oak and the nautilus are the poster boys I, i'm a massive fan of vacheron but i do believe half the the power of the overseas has come from how hard it is to find um, a nautilus and an overseas but i think that's where this this thing has been super sure because i think the same on all of this i think the knock-on effect that's why i highlight the engineer is because if you're looking at a vintage piece you know, let's say even a vintage now, 5711, I would go for an engineer over a 5711 because that's got the same feel, same flex, but it's different. Wow. So this Bremont is... Bremont has entered the chat. Bremont have entered the chat. And that's, it's... I'm it, concerned that you brought this out of a drawer that I didn't know that it's, was It's on. my special drawer. I can't get Did this. Did you just get this delivered? Yeah. Well, they're, 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 they're literally... I have never touched this watch. Okay. Uh, haven't you? Mm-mm. Okay, on on the side of that, we can. Okay, so let's let, let's see what you think. You, you've seen the press shots, right? Oh, have I? Oh, <laughs> oh have I? Yeah. So this this is the Bremon uh, Supernova. So this mm -hmm. is Bremon's first integrated bracelet watch. I, I, I want to see what what Andrew thinks of of this. Do you know, for me, this is the coolest thing, is pulling off plastic. It's, like, so satisfying. Back, back with plastic on, George. We, we, we have to be... This is this is a retail version, so we have to be very, very careful with this. It's fine. I'll get my watchmakers to put, put some... Adrian, you put me on the spot, but I can roll with you. No, no, but... but no, no, it's, you're, you're not put on the spot. I, I, I want to understand what, what, what you think of this. We, we, mm -hmm. These guys aren't sponsoring us. We don't have to say anything. But well, firstly, the first thing I notice is the heft. Like, this is a really heavy piece. That head yeah. is very thick. Oh, I like the two And it part has heads. that triptych, the triptych three-part case design. Yeah, three that part, is yeah. a, a Bremont signature. Uh, 
Wow, that is definitely a more open case back. Like they've got a real widescreen case back on the back of that movement, to allow the full it? movement. It's, it's the new. It's showing it off. What are they calling it? The ENG H1 movement. Yeah, so H01 this is or something like that. This is the the new in-house movement. Yeah. Um, made in Henley, it? made in England. But but I want you to check out the, the way that I assess it because you sort of go through the haptics, like the mm -hmm. feels of it, right? Okay, so. I own a 15500 and I would say that this bracelet is almost identical in feel. Everyone lusts after the, the Royal Oak. I've, I arranged the Royal Oak for um, a friend the other day. He received it and said, I don't, this is so sharp. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't, this is nothing like my Nautilus. And I said, no, 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 it's not. That Those facets and those, those sharp edges are what gives the Royal Oak its, like you can't have that and also have a super comfortable, like in, in, finger rubbing experience and i feel that same here there is a sharpness there that probably comes from the, the sharp angles mm -hmm. i think obviously the bracelet and again i think what this demonstrates is how much of a game of inches watch design is right so obviously this is inspired by the royal oak bracelet design it's the exact same sort of link construction however the width of the links is wider therefore i give it a pass i think the 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 evocation overall is of, it's another mashup. I see the Vacheron Constantine overseas dual time in that, uh, in that colorway with the black and the red. Mm -hmm. So I'm sort of reminded of that too. But where I think people who have criticized this watch from afar and, and looked at it purely in one dimension are gonna be interested is that from where I'm sitting, this case design is dramatically different and very much a part of this construction. It, so it, it I find is a that very compelling. complex case. It's complex and all you need to do, like what, what you've so got it, to realize it, it, it to see, to is when, when, people, when people look at watches from across the room as opposed to on an Instagram picture, what you're looking at is this, nice on it's the wrist, almost actually. sort of a, how would you say, it's like a sculpted out or yeah. carved out because like, the lugs are, it's almost like skeletonized lugs. Do because, you know, for me, that reminds me of the um, uh, AP um, code Code watch code where, when, when yes, they cut with, into the yes, case. With that I, modular yeah. And, case. and yeah. the, you know, when we say it reminds us, there is something about this finesse of, of kind of just doing something that's cool. So look, I did, but to, I can't answer your question really economically. But what I, because I'm now seeing that there's mirror polishing on these kind of lug hoods. Yeah, they're actually hoods that there's there, there's no solid case and so there's just a lot going on here that you don't see on an instagram picture i'm not going to defend this watch and say that i necessarily think it was so the best move from breitling or the best model from sorry the bremont. best move from bremont or the best um the best model I'm from bremont i love the martin baker and think that's enough for them to have a, an iconic um potential but look see that look see, at there that you go. in the case yeah, look the, at that the mirror polishing the on that, lug, that yeah. lug hood is really interesting and then this middle case it really raises a question what is that comprised of what is the the material of the middle case it's it's, it's all it's all steel it's, it's all a steel. black steel yeah black steel yeah but it's it's really interesting but all of the interest happens but not from here from here it's it is what it is and you are you know, obviously going to draw lots of comparisons. As soon as this watch starts moving, mm -hmm. my interest Comes level goes through the roof. So th this is the second time that I've seen this now. I, I, I went to their launch event and it, Did it, you? in, in traditional... Um, see you yeah, we, we got pissed together. In, in traditional... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you, you were NFI'd on that one. In traditional watch event style, the, the lighting was absolutely shocking at the event. And seeing it for the second time, I'm actually quite taken by the details on this watch. You're... The finishing is brilliant and there's little kind of easter eggs of finishing i mean this isn't a cheap watch but if we get see the inner flanks of this bracelet so the top side is heavily brushed the inner flanks are highly polished it's details like that which stand out as being pretty fucking cool i do prefer my heavy satin brush on the 15500 like that is that make of, this, of the links, I love this, that. This really is too big for me, but it looks brush. great. On what it size looks, is your wrist? Looks, Seven. So mine, mine's six and a half, and I feel like it doesn't suit my wrist. But on it you, suits you. I, I, that, I, that I think it, it. I think it really does. Now, but see, I, if I wore this watch, I'd kind of want to wear it like this. I'd want. I'd want people <laughs> to. I'd want to show just how that's the thing to take it off. I think it's, yeah. it's, it. There's a talking factor with this. You're right about the event. 
the event, the lights were crap. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't know, get any, like, any good for content me, with this. this the, I, I took some photo, but it was also wrapped in plastic, so that's why I took it off. And so, yeah, yeah, now, yeah. this, for me, that I like I like the dial design. I like, I, I, I know that you're saying about the black and red, but I've seen it before, but mm. I like it. I like the date wheel. Yeah, I love the Zero right. 2. The, the I love, date wheel is great. You know, there's so many things that I think actually, Bremont have done a good job on this. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and, the amount of critics that have come out on something like that, like they have, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring another watch to this this party. Um, and let me just show how well this photographs, because I'm kind of enjoying this, to be honest, on wrist. But like, I'm, from where I'm in looking, there. this, you know... You've, you've got one. Okay, well, yeah, look, I mean, look, that looks Halo-y. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, that, see, that looks amazing. That's just taken right now in, in fairly normal conditions, obviously. I mean, to be cool. fair, Marcus has, has hooked us up with some pretty tasty lighting. <laughs> so, it? look, I, I'm... This is... But, again, You're no one told me about the mirror-polished underside of the lug hoods. I, I didn't and notice it at the event. This is the first time I've seen that, and uh, it kind of highlights how watch brands need to get their events sorted out. That would be difficult to do. Like, you know how it's like polish, yeah. polishing... Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's a nightmare, but that's where they've got their new CNC machinery, and honestly, that when you go around there... Fucking brilliant! Yeah, you know, these guys, these guys are really—they're not hanging around. They're doing it right. They're not here to fuck spiders. They're—they're they're here to actually. I know, and I, look, I, I do feel sad. I'm not sad, but I, I feel like in some ways you cop it if you if you emulate a design that that is that yeah. obvious. Especially, I think they asked for trouble with the bracelet, and I think the bracelet isn't—that doesn't appeal to me. But the the head, I think, is because again, it's a little bit like the polished center links of the Chrono Master Sport from Zenith. You're poking the bear. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sorry to interrupt the show, but it's about effing time we launched a discussion on watch winders. <laughs> Look, watch winders are a obvious and to me very logical yeah. companion to beautiful watches, and Wolf Winders, who've kindly sponsored about effing time are one of the greatest brands in the game, and that's because they've been around for longer than many Swiss brands. They 1834! Found it. There it is, the, the, the nice. clue is on the box. Now, why would you get a winder? The fact is, if you are continually moving your watch, there is less of a need for servicing because the oil doesn't coagulate and congeal. There's all kinds of reasons George could talk about it that I won't. And he, the proof so is pudding. I've had I've had a perpetual problem, and the perpetual problem has been my perpetual calendar. And so I have put it in my Wolf uh, winder. Thank you very much, Wolf. And it has kept it alive for the whole of the show. And if you've been watching the show, you will notice it there. Now, Wolf Winders have a claim to fame, which is that they are the only winder company that counts rotations. It does not make a calculation based on time. It actually counts the individual rotations each day. Thank There's you. lots of Wolf products. Aside from the two that you see here in front of us, there is Wolf Carry, there are Wolf Jewelry Boxes. There's all kinds of a Wolf world to explore. Go and do it. <laughs> yeah. like okay, it. so look, I'm gonna bring two, uh, cool. two other watches because you say about doing something different. One of them is... What do you have? Zenith. No, oh, this one again. Yep. Skyline. Now, don't... We've talked about this quite we're, a lot, but, but, but this is an integrated bracelet. This is, you know, the thing is AP related, but not really. It, there's a history with this brand. I think to myself is it doing something different. Mm -hmm. So each one is, you know, you can see up. they're all related in some ways. You say, why not do something different with the bracelet? Mm. So I'm then going to... But then again, I see these two and go, well, Gerald yeah. faxed it in that yeah. day and he's the boss. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, there's a book about integrated bracelets and it's him. Yeah. So, you know, when I look at this, I'm going to you and saying, well, you know, if you even think that Adrian's now just kind of, he's pull, brought out his camera, so <laughs> he really doesn't give a shit about this conversation in some ways. He's no, just like, I want photograph I'm sorry, guys, this, this is a, 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 when we talk about sex piles, this is a pretty... Now, there is, look, pile. there's an obvious missing one that's AP. Yes. And for I me, that, my so, so that, that is one that is missing out of this. The other thing I will say to you is, so you're talking about integrated bracelets in, an, in a watch that I think has not done it right, but I love it. What's and I, I showed it earlier, and that is the Daytona. Ah, uh, yes. 
And, this is quite clunky. Uh, and it's clunky. <laughs> but why I'm bringing something like this is because it's integrated bracelet in another way. Yeah. You look at this. It's, it's, I think and, those and end links can be removed. It seems like they're not they're not permanent. It but, looks like that end link can be but removed. You, you but then can't you, put you a strap into them no, because, it, yeah, because yeah, there's yeah. one centre bit. There's no spring so bar. what I'm saying yeah. to you is, when you say do something new, yeah, Oops. it doesn't always Hoya, work. Hoya <laughs> tried something new. Yeah. You know, and then when we bring out the Texan. Rolex tried something oh, new. Jesus, George. And why I'm saying to you is, this is something new. You know, and when you have to take these off, then the whole of the back pops off. Now, what I'm saying to uh, you about these what is... What the hell is going on there? It actually has a little flex in it. Yeah, so it has flex. So why I'm saying is, show it, sorry, it sorry. shows that two major brands, I don't think got it 100%. And so, when, and, 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 and when you look at that Bremont, you look at the Zenith, you look at any of the people. I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm even going to bring Timex, yeah. PX, um, PRX, yeah. PRX. Jesus Christ, Tissot. for me, Tissot. Sorry, Tissot. 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 Sorry, the... Tissot. What's their one called? The no, no, no. Sorry, um, Timex has the Q. What's it called? Yeah, Q, uh, uh, the... Timex Q. Yeah, Timex Q. Q. Yeah, Timex, yeah, Timex Q. Q. So you've got Timex Q. You you've got the Tissot PRX. You've got the, the Finisone, board. Yeah. You've got, and then, then the thing is, you have to then go somewhere like, mm. and this is my my last kind of two seconds on it is, you have to go somewhere like the um, Bulgari Finissimo. Yeah, that oh, is good another shout. way of yeah. doing it. Well, you, you, done. No, it's your shout, done. but it's it's one of the things that you have to go somewhere different. Yeah. to do something now you think about the brands that have tried mm. you know it's it, different is not always good is what you're saying and and, and that's where i'm, I'm looking at this and going i think this is clever this is clever this is this is a god this should be a god i think this will be i think that the time it hasn't had its time yet no and and you know for me the thing is, if you think, and, and this is what someone explained to me, um, the my Snoopy's just fallen yeah. off the, de the desk, not okay. a watch. Yeah. Um, but the someone explained to me, and I thought this was one of the best explanations, why I'm putting them both on my wrist, is because you put both these side by side on my wrist, and you see that these two are both called the engineer. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is history on this, but the, but what what IWC haven't done is kept going with the same watch. Yes. Yeah. AP has... Good point. Patek have, yeah. and Vacheron now have. So what they've done is they've just modified, and they've been like Porsche. They've modernised. And yeah. they've modernised to a degree, it's, but well, they've I'd, made I'd it I'd say Vacheron icon. haven't. I'd say, I'd say there's, there's a lot of difference between the original overseas and the current overseas. No, but the, yeah. but the resurgence of the 222 sure. is, oh, right. is, is yes, exactly yes. Yeah, yeah, the sure, same sure, as a copy sure. of... So sure. what I'm saying to you is... Patek have just gone, we like this design, we're just going to modify, boom, 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 mm -hmm. boom, boom. You think of their design department, they're just like, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, 50 out of 11 was a, that was a very cruisy day. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you, you, you're just like, well, you know, if look, you even think about Porsche. Porsche did the fried egg front of a Porsche, so they did the lights in the wrong place. Yeah. Everyone was up in arms, so they went, okay, we'll go back to the circular yeah. lights. That, that is Different one Different is not always bad. Uh, well, no, it's not, it's not that, it's... It's try and design yourself out of an icon. Mm. And that's where I like what Zenith have done. And the other person we haven't brought out on this is GP. Yeah, yes, Pargo, the Laureato. Laureato. You know, for me, when I look at these things, there's a bit of history there, there's a bit of yeah. these things. But what's happened with this, this IWC and why it hasn't stepped up to this plate is because the IWC haven't kept going with that. Yes, much. I agree. And for me, yeah. that is where... That's why it hasn't got as and much. And actually, I was about to say before that the overseas has actually gone a 180 on an integrated bracelet by offering interchangeable leather, yes. rubber. Yeah. It's like, what would you like it's with your package? So, in, in fact, the original, the 222 designer would be turning in their grave thinking, my goodness, this watch was only ever intended to have this. Why are we giving people choice? But, yeah. but if you see on Zenith and AP, look, I, I, you know, on AP you can change the thing. I mean, if you look on Zenith, and I'm going to go for the top, uh, the top thing, but you look and, at this. And, 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 and. Uh, you look at this is you know that is that's yeah mm. you know that's smart I mean that Roman and the team at Zenith have been bloody amazing on this but yeah. AP have yeah. done exactly so same. that's having that's having it both ways you yeah. know that that's having your cake and eating it yeah yeah and so for me on this I I, I, I I'm kind of like talking about we uh, you know people are asking about the icons mm. And integrated bracelets. Why is integrated bracelets so damn 
you know, sexy at the moment? Why is it the soup du jour? My thing is, you've got two or three watches that are soup du jour, and everyone else is everyone else is the second tier down. Yes. Um, and trying to get after the same thing. If you can't get that, you'll get that. But, but am I wrong? You know, let what, me ask what... an audience question. Uh, is George wrong? Let me ask a question to you. Is the watch you desire more than anything else a watch with an in integrated bracelet, or is it not? I mean, a yeah. five five one three Submariner, like one of the most desirable watches for me. I've never really gone down the vintage path. It, it's very strap hackable. Looks yes. great in a Looks great on leather. That's part of its appeal to me. Mm -hmm. However, I do think that we're going to have a lot of diversity of opinion about whether the really the most desirable watch that you could ever imagine is it one that has this design of the bracelet as part of the design of the watch. And, and, and Please maybe, tell us. Maybe there's someone out there who, who understands that perhaps there's a psych psychological thing or an engineering thing. Why is it that the three hottest watches are integrated? Well, yeah. what, what, what is the difference? We exclude Rolex from that, and I think that when we say three hottest watches... No, no, I'm, I'm talking I'm, 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 integrated I'm overseas, uh, yeah, integrated, yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Good chat, fellas, good the, chat. The, the, this was, as a watch geek, quite, seeing this shit pleased. together is did, really cool. Did you cool. really have to take photos in the... Um, in the I'm show. sorry, that, that's how much I loved it. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, this is just awesome. quick, these... Okay, perfect. I want to talk about sponsors. Thank you so much to Four Pillars. Um, and I am going to pick one that I absolutely love. Is This is the Rare Dry Gin. Um, and we are putting it <laughs> in because these are father. rare dry watches. These are oh, nice. like yeah. absolute uh, father, uh, you know, dad joke type style. Um, but for me, this, right is, this is a great gin. Um, thank you girl. so much um, for Four Pillars to sponsoring us. Mm. Um, you you have I'm envious of that gin. I want to sleep in those watches. <laughs> I want to yeah. be like that gin. <laughs> so thank you so much from Full Australia delivery. and we are so lucky for this. Um, so B-Y-O-I. Yes. Um, Throw to me. Have you got one? I had one. Okay, fine, Andrew. It's it's yours. <laughs> it's yours. It's yours. I, I feel that we I want to give this brand a little bit of a shout out. So I I did a they well, they came the they came into the chat and we didn't actually give them any any shout out. These are tit titanium watches for under three hundred US dollars. No way. So this is Jeez. a micro brand that offers you that kind of a material at a really accessible price. I love the internal it, rotating bezel. This it's, is a great sort of super compressor style watch. Um, we're talking about orange flack is cool. Often under forty mil in terms of size, so really wearable, Screwed really light. Wow. Look at that! Look at screw down bezel. Look at that's, that. So, that's so really this is just, cool. This is the fun end of the micro brand spectrum. They've been around. They're a bit like Studio Underdog. They're a pandemic born creation. Uh, I really have fun with them. There's some very attractive colorways. I think that's what, that really does it. But RZE, good job. Keep on going. And this is that uh, integrated look bracelet that you can actually remove and have other straps to play with. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. That's smart. I like that. Yeah. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> sure, Brazilian BYO. Right? Oh. Yeah, you did. You did. I mean, you can F off well, on that one. Mean, we didn't uh, even talk about it. You can F off on that one. Um, like and subscribe us, please. Um, thank you so much to everyone that's watching us. I'm George Bamford. I'm Adrian. I'm Andrew. Have a really good day. Have an awesome day. <laughs> See ya.